Do you know you can be in intimate with someone without having a relationship? Yes. Relationship? Well, no. The bond, relations from bond. Bond <coughs> comes out of relationship. Re relationship means constant entanglement. Constant entanglement. On Indian one. Endless entanglement. Which is like bond. When you're bonding with someone, you see it is endless. So, until you have a romantic relationship with your dreams, you can rarely know the chance. You know, you I have a dream, but you cannot really achieve it. Wow. Everybody's got a dream. Me, the Okada out there. Everybody's got a dream. <laughs> of course. Most Okada, even taxi drivers, they tell you, well, they, they thought they were going to be engineers. Most of them were kindness. But there was a disconnection. Mm -hmm. That was the reason they ended up there. People say, oh, no job. Forget it. They thought about there is no job. There was a disconnection between those personalities and their dreams. And that connect disconnection can just come in a sick. It's like, <laughs> and to find the bearing is going to be so difficult. Now I ask again, what are you? When you understand, it's, I just need, it's just an answer. What are you? I need somebody to just get it. Because getting it, it will help you to be continuously ascending. Okay? They are a fighter and a father figure. A fighter and a father figure. Okay? A father figure sometimes. Because I believe whoever is a father figure, you play so children who would definitely take over. Hmm? Yeah, so I think it's just that you are fighting. Sometimes you cannot fight beyond your limitations. Sometimes. But there is just one word. Yes. Right. Okay. So I'm going to stop it on this time. Hmm. You're a stop it on your start. But you know the stars don't shine all the time. And I know about what we see. But even the sun is always there. Yeah. But what we see, sometimes they hide behind the clouds. Yeah. But what we see. Okay, so that means at that time when there are troubles, why then the stars remain there? I so but there's just one thing. Uh, I don't want to say something that's gonna give you. Five. We're working progress. We're working progress. We're progress. We're working progress. We're working progress. Working progress. Okay. Um. Do you know why they always make you to believe that you want to to see the end of the beginning? It is wrong. Uh, to me, it's limiting. When you say I am a work in progress, instead I am a finished product. Wow. Mm -hmm. I am the finished work of God. I am the finished instead I'm just doing it. Your work in progress, where will it end? It never ends. But when you have the mentality in your subconsciousness, you know you are getting the in your mentality you're already there. Like I said, you cannot do anything properly. You have not finished it here. I don't, want to, I don't want to use the word better every day because these are words that people use. I am the best of my kind. It's a spirit, it's a spiritual word. It's a man is going to spirit. Yeah, for that way, it's because wouldn't that limit you not to improve on yourself? Because sometimes you might not feel you finally arrive. Now, one thing is a thing, another thing is a joke. Now, on your part, are you understand me? On your part, because I do tell people that your worst enemy is your good. You feel, oh, you've already arrived and you relax without working yourself. But, that working yourself does not mean now look at who is the best football in the world? Cristiano Ronaldo. Do you know he still rehearses and practices? Definitely. Yes. 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 Yes.
speaking to you say that there is no way I can never be broke. I cannot be poor. There is no height at all I cannot surmount. There is no river I cannot cross through. There is nothing. Now, it's a subconscious confession. It is not just confession because you say, a lot of people confess that way, but yet they are limited because it wasn't yet subconscious. Subconsciousness is when your spirit, soul, and body will take that thing you say. But when you are conscious, oh, that means you, you're realizing it with your physical senses. But no, you don't see things with your physical senses. You look through your mind, your mind rests in your soul. You look through your mind, you believe it in your spirit, and you work towards it with your body. Now, the subconsciousness now overtakes these three entities. So when you tell yourself you are God, sit down and analyze it. This is a spiritual deity. This is something that is divine, that lives in divinity, lives outside time, lives beyond situation. Everything can bow before him. And God expects everyone of you. Now when he created Adam the first time, what was the first thing he told Adam? Be fruitful. In other words, you would have no excuse not to be fruitful in anything. Check out. The words he told man. He didn't. Adam was not an angel. In fact, do you know that we are greater than Adam? We of course. We are greater. Those who are in Christ are greater than Adam. Now, Adam wasn't an angel. What he told Adam? Be fruitful and multiply. Get that word. He didn't say 
work hard to be fruitful. No, in other words, I have fashioned you in a way that you have no excuse not to be fruitful. And multiply. And what? Replenish the earth. That means whatever you set your hands to do, you must succeed. That has been the mentality of God and heaven. The Bible says that He created man and He blessed them. That, then what is happening to humanity now? The question is, what is happening to humanity now? What is happening to humanity now is a subconscious understanding about you. A subconscious understanding. Or, let me say, when you go out of subconsciousness, you become conscious. Subconscious understanding of who you are, of what you are, then a conscious, not even understanding, a conscious seeing of what the present is which does not tally with the subconsciousness. Subconsciousness is something spiritual and out of this world. So that brings about limitation. Number one, once you see yourself as God, then you start seeing yourself as a creator. Because God is a creator. Once you start seeing yourself as a creator, that means everything will be under your control. Life can be under your control. Hey, I don't tell people that. I see. I, 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 I don't know. You might see that as a boast, but I'm saying I have not seen the person who can kill me cannot be born. What can kill me cannot be born. Cannot be invented. When I say that, that means I'm in charge of life. People don't understand that. You know, Jesus Christ said something. He said it's so pathetic that the, the children of this world are wiser than the children of the kingdom. If you hear some people who don't even believe in God, who are atheists, you hear them speak, you'll be so shocked. They understand what the world is made of and what life is made of. And you see them speaking as thoughts. And it's working for them. Do you know why? God still created them. So they understand that and it's working for them. Because whatever entity, whatever they believe in, had already revealed those to them. And he had got to them. Now, even us, and that's why I tell people, you know, some people always get angry when I tell them, forget about all this man who called it to pastors. Read your word, read the scripture, believe in the name of Jesus Christ, and believe in God. Those things can guide you. Now, yes, we've got some few hands of pastors. Because I tell you, most pastors made it a limitation to men. Make men feel or believe that you cannot accept uh, work out, you must do this, you must go to the mountain and come back, you must do fast into your own days and all that. They give you, and these people, they focus on those things instead of focusing on what it takes, which is when understanding who you are, realizing it, and working to that direction. Now, if you understand, when God told Moses, stretch forth that rod, it was seemingly impossible. I believe Moses felt, if I had if I do that and nothing happens, the Israelites are going to stone me to death. Now, if you understand that you are a creator, you will not be scared to take a step in life. Because most of the things that have been killing people's inspiration is the fear of the unknown. I, I feel where I'm going to feel now, they will laugh at me. I feel act that role now, I know act that well, people will laugh. I afraid to write script, I go to the right script, and I know, I know, it, it, you know, I feel. If, if maybe if it no fear of the unknown, but when you understand who and what you really are, you will not be scared to take any step. You will not be scared or be scared to venture on anything. You will not be scared to try anything. It's just like you are all here. You are fighters. I know all of you. You are driving hard. You will win. You, know, you must win. Or coming in here, I must get to the finals. That is defeating the fear of the unknown. Um, that fear of the unknown should not be part of you in any way. People, the world are listening. The world is going towards, I'm telling you just because I'm not talking from the world because I'm not of this world. But I tell you, a few years to come, the world is going towards the direction of people who are not subconscious of who they really are. They will lose focus because the world is going towards the direction whereby it will seem as if there is no more way for the youth. It will seem as if if you don't do fraud, you cannot make it. 
So right now in Nigeria, it's just like that now. If you cannot cheat people, you cannot make it. But few of us don't believe in that ideology because we understand that God has the whole world and the middle of his plan. And so with your belief and being subconscious of what you really are and what you stand for and who you really are, that you are God, that you understand that everything will be subject to you. Even if everybody rejects the right thing, but you tell yourself, when you get there, they will be forced to accept the right thing. Even when people tell you that, ah, if you don't cheat, if you don't write zero at the back of this, they will not promote you, you will not get enough money, but you will know that, yes, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hands of God. He can control it to which every direction he so pleases. So you put yourself in that position that the heart of any great man is in my plan. When I take my proposal to them, they have no choice than to support it and sponsor it. You see, to become great is just understanding. Then you work towards it. You must, but there are things to do before you work towards it. A whole lot of people who go there and they get turned down, they, they, they work without understanding. You must understand before you make a move. And understanding who you are, what you are, and understanding what it takes to become a great man. And understanding what is life and understanding the spiritual things because can I shock you? Most of those men who have that money that you're going to be, most of them are caught. You know, most of them are caught. Now, how are you coming from the angle of not being caught in what will be? Do you know spirit recognizes spirit and warm spirit must back? Now, so there must be something about you that will make the other spirit back. There will absolutely not be something about you. You have to get it everything. And that thing that is about you that others with the seed, the only thing that the devil or anything negative is, is scared of is when you understand who you are, you destroy the fear of the unknown, you walk with faith. When they say faith, faith is an extension of believing. Faith and belief are two different things. Faith is an extension of believing. Belief is the total absence of doubt. The total absence of doubt, that is faith. Are you getting my point? Good. So with that faith, you get over to anywhere. With that faith, you get over to anywhere. I tell you, they will recognize. They recognize they know. But when you come around and you're not too sure, they still know. When you come around, because they're going to throw some questions to you. These people are so smart. They will technically and stylishly throw some questions to you. How, whatever you respond tells them you don't really know and understand yourself. You don't really know and don't understand what you're made of. And they were, okay, no problem, I will get back to you. And that's it. Does it sound, uh, it sound abstract or? No, it doesn't. Okay. You were asked, um, continue, what is continuity? And you're dancing here and there. Hmm? Do you know why you would dance here and there? Because you have not come, you've shot movies before here and even in the house, and you have not been able to ask to understand what continuity is. You've been seeing it, at least not continuity. You've heard of it, you've seen continuity on set, you've seen what it did. But the ability to define it is the ability to understand what they were doing on set. Just like if I say, who is the director? Who is the director? Almost all of you have been with directors, you've spoken with directors, you've been on set with directors, and even you've been a director yourself, but you cannot define who the director is. You know, most people who are even directors cannot even define who the director is. You know why? Because those are the kind of directors when you take away all necessary tools in which the director works with, they cannot improvise, they cannot create. Really you will give you some money and say, go, you should give it little money shoot a film, produce a film. It's possible, with that little money. Some people can use 15 million, they cannot finish, they cannot accomplish in a movie. Why should it? Why some people can use 500,000 or 1 million and get, even it's just, I've seen a story where you have a little characters and everything happened in a room. Or let's say in a house, a room, and all that. I've seen movies like that and they were so wonderful. So there are lots you can do with, it can, what's what you, it's most most get faces. Even if you get one face, there's no way that one face can take the whole one minute now. And it gets your production apparatus and all that. You can manage and shoot a movie with one million. But you can only succeed in doing that if you understand everything that you need to do. 
So, you know what continuity is? Who can tell me now? Can you not define what continuity is? I was, I, when I sat there, I was like, well, it's okay. Because you understand it will help you to know into to about it. So, let me tell you what continuity is. The uh, recording process is the point of keeping record of um, action, words, and continuity. Keeping people. records. Even the cameraman keep records. Cameraman keep records. You look at me and keep records. So who is the continuity? From the word continue, you get continuity. So who is the continuity? Yeah, who's a continuity? You was it? Who is a continuity? Heidi? You wanna sleep? You wanna sleep, you can't sleep. Who is a continuity? What is continuity? What? But if they say who is the continuity, you can still define what, what is continuity. Fantastically shot. It was internationally shot. But what happened to the film? They passed it for European Award, but what made the movie not to win an award? They were trying to depict 1983 film. And behind where they shot the scene, they saw a calendar of 2004. Oh. <laughs> the calendar of 2004. Oh. Calendar. Yeah. So there was no detail. In. Consistency. What is the story all about? 1984 story. We've got the cars of 1984. We've got the costumes of 1984. We've got the makeup, the makeup of 1984. We've got the locations of 1984. Now, the interior part, there was no consistency. Detailing. You know what we call detailing? That means taking a look at everything around you. Detailing. In particular, but every single thing that's detail. Are you pregnant? Or are you sleeping? I don't sleep in my glass. Are you understanding me? So that thing made that movie not a winner award. But that movie, the best shot, yes. the best thing. You heard of that film, right? I watched it. The effects internationally shot, but the kind of uh, 2004. So there was a problem in that continuity. So what is that? I forgot the name. It's not from a yellow song. It's Dara Sinoa, Rita Dominic. It's the movie, it's uh, not now. Yeah. But not now. Not now. It wasn't shot now. Uh, it wasn't shot now. Yeah, not what? this recent time. No, but like, yeah. I think just maybe two about, years back. No, about three years ago. Three years ago. Is it now? Sinoa, Rita Dominic. You have to take this. Is it 76, are we? It was 76. Okay, it was 76. It was 76. That one too is their big thing at a time like yeah. that. 76 was shot by Sidney Jukuray. Yeah. It was a story of Murtala Mohammed. No. 76 was a story, not that one. Not that one. I'm talking about the 76 Yes. That was yes, the story yes, of Murtala yes. Mohammed. Yeah. That director is very detailed, very meticulous. That's the director. You know, 
so it takes its time to shake, so I don't even want to make that kind of fun. So continuity is very important in every aspect, okay? Now who is a director, or what is directed? I've said it countless time here, what is directed? Understand what directing is all about, it will be easier for you to understand what acting is all about. It will be easier for you to talk the kind of So, what is directing? Now, it's not really, but it's just defined straight to the point. Cinematographer till till the costume what to do? No. Can the sound man tell the makeup what to do? No. Can the makeup artist tell the light man what to do? No. You know, there's another word. This light man, who can tell me the word they call it? Gaffa. Alright. So, but who can tell everybody what to do? Director. Now, who can correct everybody? Director. That is just a single word to describe him. But I think, do you know why? Because he is driving to a particular place. Are you understanding me? He is driving to a particular place. And where do you think the director is driving? Where do you think he's driving towards? He's driving towards the screen. So the journey starts from the story, from the script. So you say that the, the, uh, let's see, either you say directing is the interpretation of a story from a place to a place from the screen to the screen the interpretation of a story from scripts to screen now before the journey of the character gets from the script going to the screen it must pass through the cinematographers through the gaffers through the sound through continuities through uh, set managers through um, uh, costumes through makeup through locations through editing and before he finally gets to the screen so it's a picture of a story a director from scripts to screen mm -hmm. then what's the duty of um, the set director what's the duty of a set director 
coordinates all the activities. Well, it's a common set. What do you think is a common set? Common time. You've been, you now this is where we want to shoot. You see, artist on set, what do you think it is? What was you're sitting here? You said it's a convention of those uh, activities on set. Be um, more pragmatic. Okay, what is a set? Is a particular place a story is told. Set means a particular angle in a location where the story is told based on the scene. That is a set. So we can be here, all this place might not be our set. Our set will just be that corner. Just to shoot that scene at that corner, that could be a set. Are you understanding me? Now, a set director, who is a set director? A set director, who can tell me that? So a person that interprets the placement of props and all that. That's a props manager. So, who is a set director? I think you don't not um you just don't join two not characters now but okay you're going to pass this is where if they slap you this way you're going to move walk out if you're walking out this place you're going to move you're coming in from here uh -huh. that is you give it, it in other words it's a guide based on the movement there's what called movements on the picture so a set director is a guardian of the artists based on their movements. The guidance of, of the artist based on their movements. Okay, they talk to you, if you want to take that line, move to that place and take the cup. Drink the move, drop the cup there, and then walk out of that place. That's the duty of a set director. The set manager is someone who makes sure that everything is in place. They will have set designers. Set designer is different from set managers. Set managers are people with the man who makes sure that every props needed is there. Like if the story says in that scene, there's going to be a war picture, and the man got angry and looked uh, at, a, at a, the photograph he had with his late wife. All right. Now we know that in that script, in that scene, you must have a photograph, of a picture there. So the set manager ensures that those scenes are provided. Then the set designer will be the person to place the pictures on the strategic position. Understand? Sometimes the set designer works with the cameraman. Where is your angle? The cameraman tells me, this is my angle. Okay? You don't need to put the picture here. You need to put the picture where it's going to be visible. With the camera, the angle is coming from there. So that means everything on set will be well detailed. That is it. Yeah. Get questions to ask. So can't the set I guess the set manager can do also the set um, directing job as well. Or is or rather a set director can do set manager for a director, like the head director, the technical director yeah. who interprets every character from script to skip skip um, screen. No, set. Talking about I, set. I'm coming I'm, I'm, I want to give an illustration. Yes. And what is that? We should have a Okay, are you understanding me? Every director who interprets a story from screen to screen must have the knowledge of script writing, must have the knowledge of camera angles, must have the knowledge of lighting. Because you, if you go on your set, you look at your script like you can correct a lot of things. You must have knowledge of makeup, you must have knowledge of everything. That's why you are the interpreter of a story from script to screen. 
must have the knowledge of everything. I say, you know, the I see some directors, they don't even know if you ask them of their personal life, they go out with your mind director. Yes, yeah. it is very necessary because of division of labor to make everything easier for everyone. But when all ships are down, the director should stand up school. So, yes, a set director can even do the set management and all that, even set design. Like if the set designer did not put, uh, the, the, for example, you're taking your master shot from here and you, won't put, you, you put the picture there, the set director should be able to call it or other set manager or the set designer. Like, what's going on? Not even set, set manager, because the manager is just to see that everything for that thing is provided is there. That is, that the set director will really has to the set designer. They don't like the picture, they like, okay, this is my angle of master shot here. This is for the master shot because we'll be cutting the master shots intermittently. So everything about the master shot must be conspicuous and feasible. Which means the place which is set designer makes sure that. Every All the props, they are placed, they are placed in their proper position. That's the detail is set design. And the set, the set director now directs the artist, but then he's still in charge of everything. He's a, the director in charge of all things that have to be set. Because the beauty of that set is the credit goes to the set director. Because all the other people are under him. Their costume. Who can define costume? Yes. Costume. Or a costume yeah, is a person. Forget about the person. Costume. Okay, that's the the the, uh, the, the, the dress. Itself, yeah, yeah, the dress dress manner of coat an actor should represent in a particular scene or a particular character he or she wants. Style. It's a unique, okay, unique attire yeah. or dress style to portray a particular it's a character. character. Yeah, it has to be unique. You, most of the times you don't just wear a costume. Yeah, that's why it's called costume. Alright, so it's a unique, not just the usual style. It's a unique, you know, perhaps you're, you're a medical doctor and you always used to you know, tie and all that, but you want to play the role of a magnet. That he was getting to now. It's the uniqueness is not all about that clothes must be uniquely designed. Get it? The uniqueness doesn't mean the costume, the clothes must be uniquely designed. It means that the atmosphere of that character is embedded on that costume. So that's why it's called costume. It could be a normal t shirt sold outside, but coming on set it's called costume because that cloth on that set must be given to a particular character to interpret it. That's why it's called costume. Who can tell me the difference between uh, an executive producer and a producer? For the executive producer, yeah. he or she is the person that brings everybody together for a particular production. And he is funding the production. Okay, Trump. You, 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 you try in a way, but you just want some. You're not saying producer. She so doesn't more. like talking in class. Right. The producer is one. Executive producer. The executive producer is the financier of the project. Okay. Yeah, who can try? You said it all right. You said it all right. So executive producer is the financier of the movie project, correct? But can every executive producer be a producer? Yes, yes. Not every can can every producer become an executive producer? Yes. 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 Yes.
expensive like money and crash and all sorts. But every producer now they understand what it means to produce. So once money comes into their hands, it's very easy. But in their hands they'll be able to dispose this money up with them. So it's not what exactly producers are gonna do. Alright. Okay. And somebody can sack it. Have you sacked up? He just sucks the director. Mm -hmm. So what makes the director already gone? So I I beg to deviate yeah. from that ideology. But you can say a director is the god of the sets. Not the god of the production, but the god of the sets. So he decides which angle, whatever, hammer, he decides who plays what is the god of the sets, not the god of the production. In fact, if you want to talk about the in fact, um, uh, a, a lot of them have, it depends on who has, uh, or but sometimes a director will be the one who the shots in terms of finance. So, but that will not make him the director at that time. He is the executive producer. So he decides who comes from. But we have the internal executive producers and the external executive producers. The external executive producers are sponsors who don't know anything about producers and ownership. Okay? And they just know how it's going, the selling money. But there are some internal executive producers who you see them in the production totally, they are bringing out money. So they are both producers, or executive producers. They come in and so they, they, can, they have upper hand, they can decide and detect. They, they are bringing out money. Even producers are answerable to them. They can suck a producer and bring another producer. So uh, that is why we say a producer is the administrative director. And uh, the, the technical director is the, the other is the technical director. The director is the technical director. So we have the technical director and the administrative director. Now, who is the technical director? You're not writing anything. You're tired. After eating some more beer and uh, you see you're tired. So, no, okay, producer, right? Yeah, yeah. the admin director. Yeah, that's so it. does it mean, if the person who calls the search of the director, of every other thing like The producer, now, is involved, like two things are involved. Most executive producers, you show the first person an executive producer meets is the producer. And the producer tells him, all right, this is the director that we're going to this. Sometimes, most executive producers, uh, producers they know some producers, they bring in a director. But why is going to be a little bit clashing? Because this is the producer who has produced many things, so he knows those producers who was his one. Except those executive producers who are internal executive producers. They're not coming from external. But let's make it an executive producer who is listening. So we're looking from the external part. And so the producer was like, okay, I've worked with this director before, uh, oh, so far so good. The movies that are making waves are done by this producer, uh, this director. So let's bring this director on board. Which start, whether you like it or not, it's not you're not looking for uh up commerce because you whether you like it or not, you want to sell your film. So you don't need any star uh, start testing, auditioning the star if the star is good or not. He's already made. It. You want to say now, okay. First, let's have a story. The producer produces the story. Now this is the sort of one should probably get paid a writer who wrote the script and goes going through the script conferences and the producer has a story. All right, and you produce a story. All right, they bring out the sensitive characters. Okay, you've gone through these characters. Which of the stars do you think fit? How many lead characters are you bring in? You are the producer, you know the theory, how the market goes and all that. Okay, uh, for a fantastic movie and for a good training film, we need three strong faces. Now, look into the script. The producer does that. The producer has, uh, the production manager now will be answerable to the producer. The production manager works hand in hand with the producer. So the producer gives the script to the production manager, go break down the scripts and get out these characters. They find the, the, the characters of these casts, and bring out all these characters. They find the, uh, analyze them and bring them to me. And these production manager does the analysis and bring the analysis over to the producer. And the producer relates with the executive producer and tells the executive producers then stars involved, the faces that will fit into these characters from. So, the producer gathers everybody. 
is a gatherer of everybody involved in the film. He knows the consumer to come with, the producer gets everybody together, including the director. So, but on that set, the producer and the director must be understanding for production to try. They must be understanding. They must understand each other. Most of the times you see production, is coming alongside with producer and director where they don't understand themselves, there's always a clash. So like we say, producers and directors are always like husband and wife on set. So they now define it. They now know, okay, you are the producer, there's a limit to which you can intrude. Not like the films you see these days, producers say, I want this person to be, or say, I want this to play this role. No, you don't say that. You only decide amongst the stars, then the author must allow it for the first, the cast director, over to the artistic director, then over to the director. So these are the people who will put heads together and decide who plays parts. And then finally, you know that, okay, as the administrative director, please, technical director, don't cross this path. As the uh, technical director, please, administrative director, don't cross this path. Don't close only true when I'm shooting. So they know their margin. So there will be no problem. So there are two directors on set who are doing two different things. But we give them the name producer and director. Is that clear? Yes, that's so. Okay. Uh, who can interpret? How can you interpret a moonlight scene? Moonlight, like the feeling you have. Moon? Moon. You know moon? Yes. You got better knowledge. 